just outside of Beckworth, California. And it's rainy. And it's snowy. And it's cold. And we are still going to go for the gold. Beautiful though, isn't it? Let's go folks. This is uh, Demo and Zahner. And today we're back up on the Yuba. Water's uh, still kind of high. <laughs> Just a tad, snowing, raining. Yeah, we just came through, came through a blizzard. Left Reno, 50 some degrees. Hit about Yuba Summit, and it was a blizzard. You see, it's still kind of coming down a little bit. But uh, our goal today is to check out some of the mining claims up here, get some uh, get some gold. See how high the rivers are and. Get a little gold. Actually, we're not going to get a lot of little gold. We're going to get a lot of gold. Oh, yeah, a lot of gold. Yeah. Lots of gold. There ain't no little. But if you remember the last time we were here, this was about, snowbound. Yeah, there was about four feet of snow on the bridge deck. Now it's, uh, now it's clear. Yep. So, shall we do it, my brother? Yep, we're going to head to Downeyville, which is that way, and, uh, Hit the claims, see what uh, see what's accessible. All right, let's do it. Let's go. Well, here we are, Lucky Linda, and uh, it's kind of acting like uh, Washington right now. Sun's out in a mist. We're in California. Look at that river. How do you look? This is where we pin, folks, deep underwater. Check out that rock behind you. You might recognize that one. Right there where the undertow is, where that current, that's uh, probably eight feet, 10 feet down. Oh yeah. John was in that hole. So was I. Right, now you were, you were down. I was even further down. Yeah, you're probably 12, 14 feet now. Look at that. Here's where we usually go. You can, just, you can see the white water right there. Just. Crazy. Crazy. Slippery, wet, cold. My goodness. But right now we are faced with a dilemma. I don't think this is going to work. We got plenty of bedrock. But, uh, I think we should go to the Shiloh. Yeah, we're going to have to change our game plan. There's, a, there's the metal bar I put as a, a depth gauge last time we were here. That's probably a three foot bar, four foot bar. It's about a foot exposed, a foot and a half. Yep. We'd be in waist deep water where we were panning last time. You know what? We hiked down here anyway. We gotta try it. Let's give it a whirl. Alright. Try to find a dry spot. Good luck. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, let's do it, brother. Alrighty. Well, it looks like Demo and his one little pan got some color here. It, no, there's at least about seven little pieces in there. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, maybe eight, nine. Yeah, that's just uh, it just shows to or it goes to show you that nice. you no, know, there's still there's still gold higher up. Not not as good, but there's still gold higher up. And all I gotta do is move boulders out of the way. Yep, came right out of there. But uh, I'll tell you what, that water is ice. Is cold. Yeah, it is. 
It is ice. You bring it? It's up there. <laughs> it's the high ground. Well, do you want to stay here or you want to move on? No, let's just get somewhere else up. Alright. Alright, let's move out. All right, folks, we're in North San Juan, California, founded 1853. Founded by Christian Keynes. And it's dedicated to memory of him and all the pioneer Argonauts of San Juan Ridge, who by their labor and fortitude contributed so greatly to the wealth and economy of Nevada County, California, and the nation. Pretty good, 1853. That's a cool little town. Years ago, it was a lot different. I mean, it was it was popping. This place here, I think, was a saloon. It still is a brass rail. Yeah. And here, the old Wells Fargo. This is the old Wells Fargo. Forty-nine. Built in eighteen fifty-four. Office and Holding Center for cold, or Gold and Currency, 1854 to 60. Block and Firth Company Clothing Store, 61 to 69. Chinese Laundry and Store, operated by Happy Go Lucky, 1890, 1920. Bar and Liquor Store since 1934. First saloon owner, Ma Cunningham, 1934. Ma Cunningham. This was the old Wells Fargo building. Look at that. Couple of neat old buildings. Just fronts now. And here we are in North San Juan, California. I feel like, I feel like a pervert. Look at the people. We're looking to a peephole, people. <laughs> Looking to a peephole, yeah, baby. <laughs> God, I love these old buildings. Yeah, interesting little note of history that Demo found out was that it was found, the founder was a Mexican American war veteran, and he named it. San Juan because it reminded him of a place down in Mexico that he had fought in. Veracruz. Veracruz, Battle of Veracruz. Then they added uh, north in uh, 57 to distinguish it between uh, San Juan and San Benito County. Alright, All right, folks, well, we're going to head on out and look for more gold. We found some. And then a state campground, so we're moving out. All right, folks, this is the Shiloh claim. Me and Demo are gonna go down and hit it. Demo's down there already. You can see him down there. He's working hard down there, finding all the gold there. But I'll be down there in a minute to join him. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous area. Those rapids right down there with it where it narrows. Even in the summertime when the water goes way down, the water is crystal clear and you can see down probably it goes down maybe 25, 30 feet. It's very deep. See some big old trout hanging out in there. But we're gonna give it a whirl. Folks. Well, we had a great day out on the river today. We found some real nice gold and we really weren't expecting to find much of anything. And we had a couple of places, went to old, uh, North San Juan, an old California mining camp and shot some film for you of that. We had a spot on the Yupa River down on uh, one of the state campgrounds. Found a little bit of gold there. Then we tried another st uh, spot on a different campground, didn't find anything. And then we came down to Shiloh and we found some good gold. And we're going to show you what we found here. Uh, it's been uh, it's been a treacherous day. It's Sunday, Memorial Day Sunday. Uh, it has poured on us. It has <laughs> snowed on us. 
and it has sleeted on us. So, I mean, it what happens. can you say? It doesn't get any better than that. Yeah, just you gotta remember when it starts sleeting on you and you're cleaning out bedrock, and you got plumber cracks showing, you're gonna get a surprise. You're gonna have more than <laughs> one crevice working there. So, without any further ado, I think we should do the tail of the golden pan. Let me, need, let me know if I need to move out your way. This is for some real treacherous, hairy terrain. Yeah, usually, usually the water is about the other side of that willow right there. So usually the water is out where the yeah. mushroom is. It's all dry. So it's all crevices. All right. Let's see, I do this without breaking my ankle. Zoner's pan, decent gold. Got some nice flakes in there, I found. Yeah. Then we got Demo's pan. I'd say Demo got more gold. I'd say Demo won this round. Doesn't happen often, but I'll take it. Doesn't happen often. <laughs> Doesn't have to. In the end, you win. <laughs> all right. Yeah, I would say we did all right today. Yes, sir, we did. Well, we're probably going to be heading back out to Gold Canyon, but we're going to find insane amount of gold but we had a lot of fun we want to thank you folks for your support we really appreciate it we appreciate the comments we appreciate everything we really like doing this we really like sharing this with everybody hopefully we're getting some knowledge out to you so we're going to go ahead and wrap it up and say this is Nemo and Zahner saying no, no let your meat go thanks a lot folks bye bye